And after a series of back and forth on the reopening of worship centers due to COVID-19 pandemic, worship centers were finally opened a few weeks ago. Surprisingly, the move didn't stop reactions from worshipers and even men of God, such as Pastor Chris Oyakilome and others. Plus TV Africa was on the streets to find out their opinion on churches that refused to resume immediately. If Oluwa Oshunke now reports. The COVID-19 pandemic is far from over, but gradually things are beginning to ease up and activities are getting back to normal. And one of those activities is the reopening of churches and mosques. Interestingly, this new directive has been met with mixed reactions. Speaking of mixed reactions, this time amongst men of God, is a statement credited to Pastor Chris Oyakilome, founder of Believers Love World, popularly known as Christ Embassy. At the beginning of the pandemic, Pastor Chris was involved in many controversial outbursts like 5G conspiracy theory, clergy compliance with shortening of churches, and more. The most recent was a sermon on Wednesday, August 19th, that pastors have denied the faith and are no longer believers, insinuating that pastors yet to reopen churches are unbelievers. After some prominent pastors in Lagos declined reopening their churches, choosing to be more careful so as not to endanger the health of their members. Plus TV Africa went on the streets to find out what the general public thinks about Pastor Chris or Yakilome's statement. And here are some of the reactions we got. It is uh, to his own perspective and uh, the, the area that uh, Chris observed it. Uh, Why you see some other churches that are not open? You know, the pandemic is a, is a bacteria and the fact that uh, you know, human beings are gullible. So, uh, some, are not even, some are not even careful. Even you wash hand, you ask them to sit down in orderliness, you still see some animals among the brethren that will be violating all these rules. And the moment he catch up with a person, that is how he go viral. Actually, um, what I would say is churches are supposed to open provided they will follow the government um, um, uh, directives, keeping social distance, putting on your mask, and making sure you are properly sanitized. I think this thing is a personal thing. Personally, for my family church, they are yet to open because they are trying to check out the precautionary measures, if they, are if they will be able to keep up with it. But if they can't, I think the best thing is for them to remain closed, although we know to some extent that there is nothing like COVID-19 again in this country, to some extent. In fact, we know, we all know. But then, I think it's just a personal thing. If they know they can manage the situation, it's beautiful. But if they can't, then they should just remain closed. I feel everybody has their own take on Christianity. So if he feels that churches that have refused to open are non-believers, he can, he can choose to believe that. But other people, they are, they are more concerned about the welfare of their, of their members because most people have children and they said people, uh, children below 15 should not come. Most people don't have people they will leave their children with. So what do you want them to do? They have to stay at home with their children. My church is opened, but most of the adults are, have not resumed because of their children. So whatever, only God knows the person that is serving him. So even if you go to church, it does not mean you, have, you are serving God with the right mind. Ifaolua Oshunke for Plus TV Africa.